So just a small disclaimer, I'm no artist. I don't claim to be. I'm making a game and I need to put art in my game. Art is a big component of a game, it's everything you see. But I'm struggling along, probably just like most people. So how am I able to make a background like this? Well, I need inspiration. And for me to get inspiration, I need a reference of the real world. So what I do is I like to get off my bench and go into the real world and do some filming, discover what's out there, get a feel for the land and take a few pictures. So sit back, relax and enjoy this story of how I do that. So my journey this morning is going to a place called Papamoa Hills. I'm starting a whole bunch of new levels in my game and I need some scenic references. But as you will see from this video, my internal compass is not functioning very well. As you can see, my fuel light is on. The road really narrows here. I have no idea where we are. I'm pretty sure you don't drive this far out. I don't ever remember going this way, so I think I'm lost, so I better check my phone to see where I go. It's always the last resort for a man. Man wants to find his way first and then ask for directions. It's cost me a lot of fuel. Okay. Yeah, we're on a stone road now, so that can't be right. Where the hang am I? Never mind that the fuel light's on, eh? No turning back now. This is bloody scary. My poor car. The road's starting to get better now. Okay, there's a guy behind me now. He's right up me. Might let him go past. I'm just gonna find a good area to do that. I don't wanna be rushed by some crazy local. And I don't wanna drive fast because I'll use up more fuel if I do that. Yeah, no, he's not happy. He's definitely not happy. He's not having a good day. Let him go past, there he is. There he goes. There he now by this point I started to gain my bearings and I remembered where a fuel station was and funnily enough how to get there. Alright. Well I've just gotten fuel and that cost about $150. And now I'm on my way again. I decided to swallow my pride and use Google Maps to find my way to Papamoa Hills. Before you know it, I arrive. I've made it. I had done the impossibly easy and found Papamoa Hills. Now I could move on to figuring out my level scenery. Gate. Perfect opportunity to get some photos. So we've got these little tufts of grass that come out of the mountain. So if you were to draw a mountain, if I were to paint a mountain in my game, it'd probably just my imagination would go as far as green, and it wouldn't really know what to do after that. So these little tufts of grass that are a bit light. I don't know what they're called, but I definitely need to put those in. They seem to situate on one side of it, not on the top. Back in the office, I try and I fail, I try and I fail to make these little tufts of grass. They simply do not scale well with the project and they are very, very difficult. So instead, as a compromise, what I decide to do is make a gradient that goes from green 
to yellow and I sort of just blend them in to these already grass tiles that I have which is one of those things where you have to decide what it is and what it needs to be what the heck what the heck are these little, little sticks coming out the ground I mean they could be like a, a trees growing or something or, they seem to be thorny though so there might be a bit of a see see that's what I love about coming out here and doing this instead of just sitting at home and trying to think of things these sticks have spikes on them little spikes so in my game I have spikes as danger but it's just your, your, your typical retro looking spike but maybe the spikes should be something more like sticks coming out the ground or spikes on them and the spikes are poisonous and the spike, spikes don't necessarily take health off you when you hit them but they might infect you or something but that's getting too complicated as well but anyway, so there I go good. rambling away like I normally do again putting these little sticks into my project it doesn't scale right so I might not put them in and that's just the way it is sometimes because the player has to know what danger is and this doesn't look like danger there's a log with a bunch of grass growing it and the thing is when a tree dies thing is when the tree dies, falls over and then grass grows in it, moss. You know, in my game I'm thinking that Pepper Hills would be a great place for a settlement. A lot of the Maori tribes made their settlements there. On, on the top of hills because it was harder. First of all, you can see the enemy coming from all directions and it's by the time the enemy gets to the top of the hill, they're probably tired. There's actually not a lot on it. There's a few trees, so that's good. I don't have to have a lot of trees, you know. Bushes are quite hard to do because you need a lot of bushes and you need to animate them and all that, so they're quite taxing. So I think the hill level will be nice simple look there's a sheep right in my way i'll probably move when i get closer there's a summit right there there's the stairs let's go up them <laughs> take a shortcut because i'm running out of battery Slipped over. We made it. 20% battery to go. So we've made it. And all that's up here is a stone, a bench seat, and this tower thing. You know, who brought the stone all the way up here is what I want to know. Is It's a pretty tall mountain. So someone lugged that all the way up here. No, I'm not that stupid. So how that stone got here is it would have blown up from a volcano and went all the way over here. And I'll tell you what volcano it came from. It probably came from this one. See that little bump all the way out there? That's the mountain. That used to be a volcano, they say. So that would have shot that stone all the way to there. So there's another cool thing for the game. Stones on the mountain. You know? 